Hello and welcome back. As promised, uh, this is the follow-up to the first Ferragamo video that I did uh, that featured the brown suede shoes. This is the second pair that I purchased and I'm not going to zoom in on the box. If you watched that other video, then you already saw that part. Um, and if not, please feel free. Um, as I said before, uh, two Ferragamo drawstring uh, dust bags, that's pretty standard with all men's Ferragamo shoes, uh, one for each. They're really, really a nice quality. Um, okay. I'm just going to take these out and then I'll put them on top of the box so that you can all get a, a much better look at them. Um, the box provides a great background because it really will help the colors uh, pop. Okay, so these are the fer whoops, sorry, that was my finger. The <laughs> Ferragamo. Uh, these are grained, what Ferragamo calls electric blue loafer with the horse bit in a highly polished uh, silvery color, Ferragamo, um, on both sides. Um, really, absolutely it's hard to get in and zoom in on the color for you to see it with the shadows and the lighting and everything. I'm sorry, I'm not a professional vlogger, so I use very basic equipment, but hopefully you can see that they're absolutely beautiful. And Ferragamo's attention to detail is just stunning. Personally, I think they are among the very best shoes on the market. The, the sole is a very unique pattern. Um, the heel has the standard eight tap, and that's those little... Uh, nails that you see in the corner of each heel. Uh, rubberized on the back. This shoe has more of a rubberized sole uh, with the leather only being um, on the border. Um, I have no idea what that's going to be like to replace uh, when it comes time to do so. Uh, the inside are black and it says Ferragamo. It looks like it's silver but it's not. It's just um, it's black, but it's metallicized, so it, it kind of looks a little shiny. Uh, the bit is a little different, as it has a solid cross piece. That's this piece here. Sometimes uh, the, it will have a joint uh, right in the middle that flexes a little. Uh, this particular style, again, I believe it's pronounced Giancy Loafer. This is the Giancy Loafer Moccasin. If it has the, the split here... That's just called the Giancy Moccasin, so it's a little, little different. Um, I don't like a big heel. Um, I'm about 5'10", 5'11", so I don't need a big heel. They're really beautiful, and I'm also not a huge fan of textured leather, uh, especially the pebble leather, which is really what this is. Yet when I saw them and I put them on, uh, they were just truly, truly stunning, and the color is just unbelievable. Um, so... Um, as I mentioned in the other video, um, if you have feet that are a little wide or a little narrow, Ferragamo is a great brand because they come in widths and the D, which is a standard man's width, tends to be a little narrow to begin with. Uh, I'm almost a perfect nine and a half double E. Um, I wear a size 43 European and these fit me absolutely perfectly. I don't wear socks. Um, I haven't worn socks in... I can't remember the last time I wore a pair of socks with shoes. So um, they fit absolutely, absolutely perfectly, and they are just stunning. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like and share. Uh, please keep comments positive. Keep in mind I'm new at this, and I don't use professional equipment. So um, I'm just asking for uh, any comments to either be positive or constructive. Thanks very much, and I hope you subscribe.